The mind is powerful. It shapes our reality. But is it possible to use that power to change someone else's reality? For 25 years, I have trained myself to master the power of influence over the mind. My name is Moin al -Basteki. Come with me as I show you just how powerful the mind can be. What was the name? Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Please open this. No way. You've got to be kidding me. I don't know how he does this. My name is Munir Basteki and yourself? Nice to meet you. I'm Larry Fernandez. Larry, Larry and? I'm Tia. Tia. We're going to be trying an experiment today with both of you. Yeah? And I don't know if this is going to work or not, but then we're going to be trying it and hopefully create a nice magical moment for you guys. What I'd love you to do right now, I'd love you to think with me of a number from one to five. Yes? You've got a number. You can change your mind several times and stick to one. Yeah? So you've got a number in your mind and there is no way neither me or Tia could know that number. Correct. Yes? Correct. So what I'm going to be trying to do in a moment is I have a check with me that I've signed of 50,000 dirhams. This check is going to be gone in one of these envelopes. I want you to close your eyes. Yes? Don't open it, please, until I tell you. But take the envelopes so nobody knows this check is going in which envelope. <laughs> Obviously, Larry thinks he has great odds of winning, especially as I've added Tia at the table to make Larry feel even more confident. And confidence is a trick salesmen use all the time. But what Larry doesn't realize is that I've already influenced him. Can you please open your eyes? So what's going to happen is this. The number that you will be saying it out loud to me would be the envelope that I will be keeping. Okay. The remaining four will be yours. Okay. So think of that. Think of that probability of you winning 50,000 dirhams by having four envelopes of five that one of them contains 50,000 dirhams. You're getting that, yes? I'm getting that. Yes. So you will be, in a moment, calling out a number, and I'm going to be keeping that envelope. And the remaining four will be yours. Okay. And hopefully, I'll have you not win that. <laughs> 50,000 dirhams, yes? Okay. So on a count of three, do you have a number in your mind? I do. You do. On a count of three, I wanted to say that number out loud on a count of three. One, two, three. Five. Five is the number that you thought of yes. after changing your mind several times. Yes. And there is no way I would know that number. Correct. Impossible. Impossible. She would not even know that number. Correct. What I'd love you to do is totally hands off. I want yourself to pick the first envelope and see if the check is in that. And that's yours. These fours are yours. The number five stays with me. Yes? Okay. I wanted to check these fours and I wanted to see if the check is in any of these four envelopes. Sadly not. All right. Two is not. No. Not number three. No. Not four. Come on. Oh. So there's only one envelope that contains the 50,000 dirhams. You might think that I might have not even put that check in any of those envelopes, yes? Any other person would think that way. I'm not gonna touch this. You will take it out of this envelope, but then you're not gonna get it because you've lost already. You're gonna bring it out just to confirm that you... No way. I don't even wanna look at it. <laughs> So this is a chick of 50,000 dollars, and you've lost, you've lost this game with me. Tia, hi. How are you doing? Very good. I'm going to give you a chance of you maybe winning this chick of 50,000 dirhams. Now in this country, this is a lot of money for lots of people. Yeah? I want to think of anything. Just think of anything. An information, something, yeah? Do you have something visibly big in your mind, yes? So there is no way that either me or Larry would be able to know that information, yeah? All right, I'm gonna try this. Don't promise it's gonna work, but then let's see. So you have that information in your mind. 
yes? I want you to, to close your eyes for me. Let's close your eyes for me. And think of the first letter of whatever you're thinking of, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes? Now this could have been anything, but you're thinking of a specific information, yeah? Yes. Not for me if you're understanding me. Yes. Good. What is the first letter? Can you tell me, please? V. V. Okay. Me being an Arab, the spelling might be wrong. I wrote a word on this pad, mm -hmm. yeah? Now, is this going to be impressive to you if it was what you're thinking of? Yes? Yes. Yes? All right. I'm going to be asking you to open your eyes. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong, I might be right, I don't know. And you have a chance of getting this check, yes? if I got the information wrongly. If I wasn't able to get the information right, you will get this 50,000 dirhams. But if I got it right, it's mine. I got it wrong, it's yours. Yes? Yes? It's just a game. Open your eyes and see if I'm correct. <laughs> God. <laughs> no, no, bear with me, stay with me, stay with me. So you lose, you lose the money, thank God, all right? Nobody wins the money. No, no, um, I want you to think of something that reminds you of, of Vicky. Okay. Yeah, friend of yours. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Think of something. Think, think of some of, um, information about them, yeah? Mm -hmm. No, I don't know this person. Mm -hmm. I don't even know you. Mm -hmm. It was my pleasure to meet you today. Mm -hmm. Think of something that reminds you of Vicky. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Think of it as big and bold. And think of that scene for me. Now, we are sitting in this room, and it's looking really beautiful. Is it spinning? Is it, is it something to do with, yeah? yeah? Yes? Thank you very much. Do we get to split that list? That's no. <laughs> None of that. Thank, I'm going to try one more thing, yeah? I'm going to try one more thing. Can you please hold, hold, hand me your hand? I just want you to relax your hands. And when it's going to go and touch the table, Lock it on the table and just relax and close your eyes for me, yeah? But now, when it touches the table, open your eyes. Open your eyes for me now. Open your eyes, yeah. When it touches the table, you'll go into a relaxation mode and close your eyes for me then. It's gonna go down, lock your hands. Another technique salespeople use is based on manipulating sounds, which allows them to influence those around them. Now, in a moment, I'm gonna be touching you in different places and locations on your body, yeah? Okay. When you feel the touch, don't say anything out loud. Just not confirming that you're feeling a touch. Yes? Okay. Just don't say anything out loud. What Larry doesn't realize I'm doing is changing the tone of my voice so his body will react as if I'm actually touching him. Now, you're feeling some sort of pressure somehow. Now, have your hand be tightly touched, touching the table. If you see any kind of release of pressure, I want you to raise your hands up to a height of a bottle, yeah? Okay. Now, if you feel the pressure again, I want you to then only to bring your hands down, touching the table, and locking it back down to the table whenever only you feel the pressure, yeah? We're gonna try this one more time and see if this is gonna work for you. Whenever you feel a release of the pressure, I want you to raise your hand again to the height of a bottle. I'm not gonna even look. If you feel the pressure, it's gonna go down and touch the table again.
to you. <laughs> I don't understand. Look at me. After a week from today, you will not even remember that this day existed. Yeah? Uh, I came in here and I sat down and I was asked um, to think uh, of just something, something random. And uh, I've just recently been traveling with one of my closest friends, so she sprung straight away into my mind. Um, yeah, her name is Vicky, and I was also asked to think of something relating to her. And where she's told me she's doing a, a lot of exercise at the moment, it's really into spinning. I just thought of Vicky and spinning. And um, yeah, so, so something totally random. And for him to just guess that um, was very astonishing. And when Larry had to close his eyes, and when he felt the pressure, he should raise his hand to the height of a bottle. And that was very strange. I, I, I find it really hard to even put it into words. Uh, it was spooky uh, to the point that I, I was actually thinking that what connection we actually have with each other and um, how something uh, could be done to somebody through somebody else, if that makes sense. Well, clearly um, he had a one in five chance of winning and I had the odds stacked way in my favour. Um, even after he put the, the check into the envelope, um, he told me that I could change my mind or change the number. Um, and I wasn't surprised that he had it right. I'm just amazed that he, he can get it right. Because as I say, the odds are so well stacked against him. We're all sitting here. Um, I had a witness to make sure he wasn't you know, messing around and um, my number came up and it was the, the only one that didn't have to check in. So uh, I was very impressed with that. Um, I was amazed that he got uh, the name correct and the spinning thing, where that come from, I have no idea. Yeah. And it'll be very interesting to see if I remember this in a week's time.